G'day guys, today we're going to talk about how to do loose set braiding. It's really fantastic, you see it all the time at medieval festivals. That's coming up. Lucette braiding is a very popular at medieval events uh, and there's a lot of debate about it. Uh, and some people are very passionate about it and it's great. You can use it really well to create cords, drawstrings, all of those kind of things. So let's talk uh, how we go about lucette braiding. Okay, first things first, uh, is it historically accurate answer? is a little bit difficult, it's a little bit speculative. I believe yes it is. There have been archeological finds. Let's just quickly go through those now. So there was one found in Jorvik or York in the England. So what we do with our, to start our loose up braiding, we're just going to make a slip knot. Okay, so here we go. Wrap your cord around your finger one time. Pass this loop just up here between your fingers and it'll come through. Slip knot is called a slip knot because it slips out again. Okay, so all this is doing is just holding your cord in place whilst we are doing our braiding. Okay, now we're going to need a slip knot and we'll come back to that in just a second. Now what I do is I place my loose set nice and firmly in my hand, just so it's nice and comfortable. I'm going to pass this end, that's the cut end, I'm going to pass that into the hole. This works for me, um, now not all loose sets have a hole, that's okay. I'm going to pass my knot over the right hand prong. And then I'm going to come across behind the left prong, and now I'm ready to go. So when I start my braiding, okay, I'm going to go across and behind. Take the slip knot and pass that over the right hand prong. Now I'm right hand dominant and so you may find you need to do this a slightly different way. Now we're just going to pull that tight. When I say tight I mean it just needs to be relatively firm. Okay and back round again. Starting with the right knot, we just pass that across, then the left knot, bring that around. Make sure the cords are nice and neat and fairly tight. Just pull that cord through that we're starting to form. Now there we go. And back around again. And in just a few minutes, we're already starting to form quite a nice patterned braid. And we can use that, as I've said, to make our drawstrings or whatever.
Alrighty guys, so that's how we start our Lucette braiding. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please um, like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.